the way. For Kano's long as 46. He didn't go back this far in warm-ups. This would be a big kick for him. Six of seven on the year is Pauli Fricano. Fricano is six of eight now. Off the crossbar. He just barely had enough, but he knocked it through, Ben. Gets him even. That's a big kick for Pauli Fricano. Eastern Michigan answers. Three to three. Down. That looks like a pass that needs to be caught. Yeah, you can't use your shoulder to catch a football. You've got to get your hands out there every night. And I'm out there with my kids working on catching the football. They want to use their body. It's just a natural instinct as a human being. But you've got to learn to be able to put the ball in your hands. Your hands are what makes it possible. Your shoulder pads are hard and stiff. Your hands are, are, are tender and they can move and caress the ball. <laughs> that's, that's, kind of, that's kind of gay, but hey, close. Four, it's down and nine. Jaden Overcrow, his longest of the season from 46. He's got the foot. Got it. No. Beth, coach, it's a pleasure to be with you guys here on the field from up close, just watching Coach Vance Joseph from here. You watch him now on the screen. This diversity in his background is helping him a lot tonight. Quarterback at Colorado, defensive back in the NFL, and here he is having the time of his life. Hello, everyone. Well, the Ball State softball team continued to play this weekend, and they were hoping to continue off of their straight three out of four losses. And so we'll take a look and see how that happened. They started off good, but then eventually, but the Ball State women's women's team shot down and ended up doing poorly. Oh no. And it's working. Okay. We're going to continue on now. And the Ladies Cardinals will play an Iowa tournament starting this Friday. Before the Ball State baseball team kicks off its conference season this, we this weekend, the Cards will battle an in state rival, Indiana, tomorrow. Tomorrow's game will be the meeting between the two, beating both. First. <sighs> Hoosiers are on the four on on the year, and they have won six of its last seven games tomorrow. Will be the game three at 3 p.m. Which switching to Ball State men's tennis, it seems last week player on. It seems every week they have a player. <laughs> Mad Lawrence is the latest Cardinals tennis player to win the award. Lamar won all, this, all the singles and doubles matches last week. So far, the Cardinals have had a player honored on the, on the weekly awards, seven out, of the nine, uh, seven out of the nine weeks. The Cards will play at Boise State Invite this weekend. The Indiana Pacers are looking for a measure of revenge tonight against the New Jersey Nets and to strengthen their playoff hopes. The Nets won the last Sunday's matchup, 94-85, which left the Pacers one game behind the Chicago in the seventh series spot. Let's check out the highlights. Steven Jackson's David... <sighs> Reggie Miller's looking good. He shoots a three, and it's good. Later, he gets the rebound, passes it to the man, shoots it, and boom goes the dynamite. The final score is ended up with the Pacers 63 to the net 61. The Associated Press of the All-American First Team in College ba Baseball was announced today at Utah's seven-foot sophomore center Andrew Bogat was the leading vote getting receiving 61st place votes. Bogart, who is an Australian native, received very little attention in the presentation in the preseason, but averaged 20 points and 12 rebounds a game for Utah. The four other players joining Bogart on the AP team are senior forward Wayne Summers and Kansas of Kansas, and Hacken Warwick of Syracuse. 
Junior guard J.J. Reddick of Duke and sophomore, and sophomore guard Chris Paul of Wake Forest rebounded out the list. Let's check out some of the scores tonight. Okay, great. Thanks a lot for that look in sports, Brian. Yeah. And when we come back, we'll have one final look at weather. Stay tuned. <laughs> 